What's up guys, welcome to part two of my Top Tweaks video series covering the A12 jailbreak for iOS 12.4. Anyway, I thought I would start off covering some new tweaks that we've never shown on this channel before. So here are some of the latest and greatest new tweaks that I think you guys might like. All right, let's get into things. So starting off, we have Simple LS2, which gives this awesome little complication on your lock screen. But my favorite part is there's this awesome little clock right here. Uh, it's an OLED clock, always on display. It looks super sweet, all done with one tweak called Simple LS2. Another one of my favorites that I really like, and this is going to be impossible to demo from a face down perspective, but when you flip your phone upside down, and you flip it over, this one's called Down Locker 2. It basically locks your device when you flip it upside down. And then you can quickly unlock your device one more time. Let's see, my face can't be recognized right now, but uh, I have Auto Unlock X, but it's just, it's impossible for my face to be recognized with the camera in front of it. Anyway, uh, Down Locker 2, super awesome tweak to have. Next, within the settings app, this one I thought was super cool. It's called Stick Around. So you can actually pin certain parts of the settings app. So let's say I want to pin Wi-Fi. I can just pin it. And now next time when I go to enter the settings app, it's pinned right there at the top. I think that's super cool. So I can pin my entire tweaks category right there at the top and quickly access them. It's even above iCloud. Super awesome tweak, guys. Next up on the home screen, I have this awesome new tweak called Carabiner, and it basically combines the lock screen clock right here. I have a weather complication. I have all my home screen apps, and then right below it, if I had any notifications, they would show up right there. So basically it combines the lock screen and the home screen all on one screen. Anyway, that one's called Carabiner. So a couple paid tweaks going on here, but ignoring that fact, I have this awesome tweak called Quick CC to select Wi-Fi networks, just like the iOS 13 feature, or pair different Bluetooth devices as well. You can connect and disconnect it right from the control center, right from the connectivity toggle. Also, I thought this one was hilarious. Now, if you force touch the calculator, you actually have a calculator within the control center, and that one's called CC Calc. So pretty cool tweak right there. So when I go ahead and enable do not disturb, I no longer have that annoying notification banner letting me know that I'm in do not disturb mode. And that's the tweak no DND banner. I like it better than leave me alone. There seems to be less bugs going on here. So, and I thought this one was pretty awesome. Look at my uh, Safari icon. It's an actual live compass based on how I turn my phone. And uh, that one's called live Safari. So super simple tweak, but I thought that was pretty interesting. Now you guys are going to love this one. This one is a free alternative to BioProtect XS. Basically you can lock down apps with Face ID entirely for free now. So basically if I go to open up the messages app, let it scan my face, it unlocks with Face ID and I can protect my messages or protect individual apps with Face ID. Super awesome tweak. And again, it's entirely for free. And I love this feature in the Messages app where you can actually go back like that. Well, now this app called Pancake, or this tweet called Pancake, basically lets you do that for all applications. So as an example, if I go to the App Store and click on any app, now I can just click and drag to go back. Anyway, super awesome tweak. That one's going to end this part. Again, this one's just covering the newest tweaks that are, again, entirely free. And just to demo that, if I'm in a source, I can just click and drag to go back anywhere. Anyway, guys, that's the newest tweaks I have for you. Stay tuned. Again, this is just part two of four parts of some awesome tweaks for Cydia on iOS 12.4 on your A12 devices. Anyway, guys, stay tuned for more awesome content by us. Definitely show that support. But until next time, this is Tony signing out. What's up guys? You know what time it is. It is time to talk tweaks on the brand new iOS 12.4 jailbreak. Yes indeed, we are finally here all set up running 12.4. I have Cydia installed. As you guys can see, we got Uncover Trending. 
Well, I bet you guys are probably looking for some things to install. This first video, this is part one of four. So stick around for some awesome tweak videos. But in this video, I wanna show you guys just how to get set up. What are some of the first and best essential tweaks to install to get you on your way going forward to install tweaks quicker and to have a great jailbreak experience. So let me go ahead and show you guys a couple one I have is called Swipe for More, so I can quickly batch install a bunch of tweaks, add a ton to queue at once, and install them super quickly. Next, if I go to Sources, and I guess I should take this part in the video to say, uh, all of the sources as well as all of the tweaks are located down below in this video's description. It's in our Best Tech Info article. And I'll have a starter pack for some of the sources that I think you guys would really enjoy and can find a lot of these tweaks on. Anyway, to batch install a bunch of sources or to batch add them, I use this tweak called Flame. If I click add, as you guys can see, I can batch add a bunch of sources. You guys can actually copy and paste the entire list from this video and install them all in one fell swoop and that's done with Flame. You can also customize Cydia a little bit more as well with that tweak. So two awesome ones to have right there. Next, of course, one of my go-tos is Snapback. Now, after you have your tweak set up entirely done, I recommend just creating a snapshot. That way, if anything ever goes wrong, you can quickly revert back to that. You can actually have multiple tweak setups. If Chimera ever makes its way to iOS 12.4, you can have two jailbreak utilities on the same exact phone. And again, you can always restore back to the ORIGFS. That's just stock iOS. So I kind of use this as a jailbreak bypass as well. Anyway, just a great way to back up all of your tweaks. Another one kind of similar to this same note here. Another one that I have is called Batch-O-Matic right there. If you just tap on that, you can create a DEB or a DEB and you can back up all of your sources, your tweak preferences and all of your tweaks. And this also works if you have another phone that has Cydia, let me turn the brightness down just a little bit on this. But if you have another phone with Cydia and you have Batch-O-Matic, you can actually create a DEB on this phone and airdrop it to another one and batch install all of your sources and all of your tweaks. So when it's done, you can just click export. And again, if your phone comes up on AirDrop, you can just AirDrop it to the other phone. I cancel out of that. Um, and right there, it pops up in Files Up File Manager. Now that is another one that I think you guys should definitely install right off the bat is Files Up. So you guys can explore the iOS file system and install and extract DEB files and other things like that just a super useful tweak to have. Now, kind of a fun one, I've been installing a bunch of tweaks and it's super light, but I have 114 packages installed right now. And that's uh, shown with Tweak Count 2, another great city of tweak to have. And if you guys are searching for tweaks, another great one to have is Tweak Compatible to see if it will work on iOS 12.4. Now this tweak is entirely community driven, so if you find one that hasn't been reported on yet that actually works, definitely report it to Tweak Compatible for others in the community to use that information. Anyway, if you find a tweak that you like but you don't really want to install it right now, you can actually add it to a wish list right there. And if you go to the homepage on Cydia and uh, click this little bookmark right here, you have a wish list of some of your favorite tweaks that you've basically bookmarked in the past. Now, Celio has this by default, but this is a way to get that feature on Cydia as well, and that's with Wish Dia. And just a couple other ones starting off. Uh, I really don't like the home bar here, so I just hit it with hide bar X. And then also right here on the tabs, you can actually swipe on the tabs over like that and that's with fluid tabs. And I think it's a really nice gesture-based uh, tweak to have. Gets you uh, between pages super quickly. And uh, another one that's gesture-based like that is called Pancake. So you guys can just swipe back basically anywhere um, in sources and things like that, or if you're in the App Store, let me just go to an App Store. Basically anywhere just like Messages, if you click on an app, you can just tap and drag in the middle of it and it will go back. So that's a pretty cool one, I thought, too. Um, right when you're getting started, these are some of my favorite tweaks to have. 
uh, just to let you basically batch install a bunch of sources and add a bunch of tweaks all at the same time. But the great news about this jailbreak, guys, is pretty much every tweak that I've tested works. I think Zen HTML is the one and only exception that I've run into that for whatever reason doesn't work on iOS 12.4 for A12 devices. Other than that, I have a ton of tweaks installed. Floaty Dock, uh, Dune for dark mode, Jumper, Lisa, a bunch of cool tweaks, Fast Unlock X, uh, Bubbles in Messages, uh, a new one called A Shield, which is a free alternative to BioProtect X. Um, a ton of tweaks. Again, this is just part one, so stay tuned. Uh, I'm recording a bunch of videos tonight that we're going to release throughout the week. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys are as stoked as I am for this A12 jailbreak. I'm super excited. If you have a recommendation for me, definitely let me know. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. If you guys did, you definitely know what to do. Please show that support. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. But until next time, this is Tony signing out. Peace.